Next, next up we have The Witcher. Yeah, so I know off The Witcher, not like personally, but know off The Witcher. He's a pretty cool guy, Roxa. Similar dude to this. <laughs> but he hunts monsters. He's on a PS like 5 game. Yeah, he's pretty, pretty boss, really. Now let's put this out there, The Witcher doesn't exist in real life, but yeah, on Netflix and Playstations and stuff he does anyway. So I wanted to draw him. I thought I loved fantasy stuff when I was a lot younger, but I still love it now. Like, So I thought, right, I want to draw a big badass warrior with a big sword. Who would that be? It would be The Witcher. So here we go. The usual drill. If you haven't checked out the other videos for The Usual Drill, it's, yeah, check them out. There's a Joker and a 50 Cent one there. So we decided to draw The Witcher. You can see so we'll get to how that happened a little later. But first up, we had to create a background. So the background, as always, was spray painted. Picked certain colors with this particular one. It was blues and browns and then white sort of fleck through it. So lay down the canvas, sprayed like mad, created like a mismatch match of masterpiece. And yeah, it looked pretty, yeah, well chocolate. So it was like really sort of distinct anyway but i was thinking then i needed to make it sort of fantasy-esque which was why I like the really bright blues in the skies and brown so like this sort of eerie doom and gloom feel like thunder thunder and lightning storms and stuff so next up okay reference image time with the witcher i was torn between two images it was this one and this one the first one was very much like directly on at his face very sort of evil, whoa, I'm the witcher. And then the second one was the one that I went through. So more of the hero pose. Like a hero pose would be more when they're staring, staring off into the distance as if they've just conquered some badass, like centaur, medusa-esque monster thing. So sword up, really angry, face in the distance as if like I have destroyed everything. I thought that would look better on the background because it's more, I wanted to make it more of like a hero piece, I suppose. So. Went with that one. Um, usual, like, find the image which you think would be best for the people looking at it. So I didn't want to pick, like, a wee grainy picture from, like, the video game or from the Netflix series where you're, like, pausing the screen and just taking a picture from it. I wanted a high-definition picture so that I could really see the quality so that I could go into it on my detail. Next up, we're seeing the trend here. Next up is lay down the pencil. Taking your image, putting the sketch of it down, onto the paper. When you've got that, we then need to put the carbon paper underneath and transfer it to this background. Now, I have to admit, on this particular one, I didn't lean heavily enough. I preach it so much, I say, lean heavily so that the print comes through, but because the background was quite dark, the print sort of struggled to come through. So when I was trying to retrace my sketch onto the actual canvas, it was pretty much having to redraw it again, which wasn't bad, but yeah, a bit more time consuming because the only reason you do that step on paper first is to speed the whole process up. I could draw straight onto the canvas, but then you could make mistakes and then you're gonna mess with the background. So ideally, the less mistakes you can make on the canvas, the better it is to make on the pencil, on the paper anyway. So, finally got the image down onto the canvas. I had the imprint and then I followed around the outline. Got the outline off the actual piece. Then it was just a case of building up color. Now with The Witcher, it was very grays and whites. Um, there was a lot of detail there, but I wanted to keep my usual style going through it. So I wanted to have the whole scratchy style. I didn't want to make it all smooth. The guy is rough and ready. He's got dirt on his face. He's angry. Whoa, big butch guy. I didn't want it to be all softly and smooth like some sort of film star or something. So I needed that sort of bit of edginess to it. Built up the colors, added the blacks, brought out the skin color. Now the skin was a strange one too because it was limited to the paints I had. I was actually using those Posca pens for adding the acrylic to that. So I was limited on the colors and it became very dark very quickly, which I didn't mind because that was in essence what I was going for in the piece. I added the really fine details, lots of like scratchy style because he had all this sort of badass stubble going on. And then from there, we like had a finished piece. Whew. When I had the final outline and sort of semi-finished piece done, 
The whole idea of putting the sword in was pretty much an afterthought. I initially didn't want to put the sword in because when you tend to draw straight lines on like drawings, I was always told in art, never use a ruler. But sometimes if you're drawing things like a sword, if you can get a straight line with your hand, that's cool. But with a sword, because it's such a definite straight line and I didn't want there to be that kink in it, I had to use a ruler to get like a line on it and then I could almost trace over that line. So. I decided to go with the sword because it did look better. The Witcher's known for is like two swords, so you can only see one in this now because the other sword was, say, well, let's say he had it drawn, but the sword then sat from his back. It was a bit further out from the image, um, but I decided to include it anyway because it would fill up the background. After that, then it all got fun from there. So basically the final bit was adding more spray paint. Now I had asked a couple of people what The Witcher was famous for. As I said, I'm like watching the Netflix series at the minute, but I don't really know the show that well. But I believe there's like the five signs of The Witcher. So there's these different symbols. So that was easy enough to do. So I literally hand drew them because they were all just generic sort of straight line shapes. So all like triangles and um, upside down triangles and bit cutouts. So with that, I literally stenciled that onto the drum. That was particularly easy. Drew it out onto one sheet and then got my sharp knife. Don't mess with knives. Sharp knife, cut it out. Da -da 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 -da. Then I went upstairs into my studio and sprayed again. So I sprayed then initially, I sprayed down the color of them because each of the signs of the Witcher are all different colors. So there's greens, purples, yellows, blues, and reds. So sprayed the suitable sign to the suitable color. And then at that, after that, I used the cutout piece that I had to put it on to give it sort of like a white haze around it. And then I wanted to make the final image just a bit more pop a bit more. So I added like a lot more spray paint on top of what I'd drawn and also around the corners just to give it that sort of dark eerie feel. Turned out really good. Here, my friends, is the witch. Wow. So there we go. There's the symbols I'm talking about there. So you've got your reds, your blues, your yellows. So those are all symbols, signs of the Witcher. If you're a Witcher fan, then you'll understand that. There's the sword, as I said, I added the last bit. Um, obviously there's a lot of straight lines going on there. So I did use a ruler for that. Don't want to admit that. The distinctive yellow eyes of the Witcher, the sort of really heavily, like grainy, dirty face of the Witcher, the whitish sort of gray hair going on, which matches into that. And then I also, at the end, you'll notice, I brought like a black haze sort of to mold them into the background a bit because that was all a bit too bright down there. So I thought it would be better if it darkened it down. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, let me know what you want me to draw because like my mind and imagination is pretty good, but I do like sort of like direction sometimes. So if you turn around to me and say, I want some Transformers stuff, I'll draw some Transformers stuff or at least put it on the list to draw. So that was The Witcher. Keep your suggestions coming. If you think that looks pretty boss, then you hit that like and yeah, subscribe, do all that. You know the usual drill.